Hey, what's going on? Wyman Gentry here, and today I'm going to show you a video that I took with the iPhone 12 Pro Max shot on the DJI Osmo 4. It's a real estate video walkthrough. It's just a quick video of a small property, and I got a bonus for you that I actually shot the exact same property on the Canon R6. So we're gonna stack those up back to back and see how the iPhone shakes out. Then at the end of this video, I'd like to kind of share with you my personal opinion about whether or not you could or should use the iPhone 12 Pro Max or any other phone for that matter um, in a commercial environment uh, for video production. Stay tuned for that. Hey! Yeah, I did shoot a flower. What, do you wanna fight about it? <laughs> All right, so what do you think? Looks pretty good, right? Let's see how the Canon R6 does. So what do you think? iPhone, Canon R6. I think that if you're looking on a phone, you're not gonna see a huge amount of difference, which is kind of crazy, right? However, when you do view it on a computer, you're gonna see that iPhone footage on the interiors start to fall apart in some places. If you had to work in an environment where it was a lot darker, I think you're gonna find that iPhone's probably gonna fall apart a little bit more. It's not gonna look great. That being said, the iPhone held up pretty darn well in this type of scenario and it's, Totally usable in my opinion. So here's the big question though. Can you use an iPhone for commercial work and should you use an iPhone for commercial work? I see a lot of people talk about this on forums, on Facebook and in other places. And there's a lot of people who love their uh, smartphones and love shooting with them and think that's the wave of the future. It can be, it's possible. I I'm not gonna sit here and say that I don't think that's ever gonna happen. My personal opinion though, I'm looking at this more through the perspective of how does this look to the clients? And I don't think that shooting with your cell phone should be something that you should seriously consider. <laughs> Let's take a step back and an overview look at this. Take real estate as an example. You have a real estate agent who goes out to a listing presentation who's trying to get business from a prospective property owner who wants to sell their house. That real estate agent is gonna sit down with them, talk about their marketing strategy, all the things they're gonna implement and what they're gonna to do to list that property and make it look as beautiful as possible. They are selling someone on what they are going to bring to the table. If they do that and that person then entrusts them to market that property in the best possible way they can, and then you have someone show up on shoot day and take out a cell phone and start taking media, I don't think it's gonna look very good. And again, that doesn't mean the camera doesn't perform. It can perform. It is to a large degree about perception. And if that seller gets the perception that some guy is coming in with a cell phone, the same cell phone that they might have in their pocket, it doesn't inspire confidence for that person. As ridiculous as that might seem, it's just reality. But hey, this is just my personal opinion. 
I'm definitely not the end all be all of like filmmaking. Uh, if you have a, a difference of opinion, I would love to hear about that. Please comment below. And you know what? If you are a filmmaker who's who's solely working or doing the majority of their work on your smartphone, I definitely want to hear from you. I'd actually love to see some of your work. So why don't you put it in the comments and I'd love to take a look at that. Guys, if you like this video, please hit that like button and please subscribe and uh, I'll talk to you soon.